Very good evening. It's nice to see you one more time. Welcome, welcome to this English class here on Zoom. It's nice to have you. And it's nice to see you one more time. We will continue practicing little by little this thing that is called learning English. We're still working with section number one, uh, which is called a time to remember. Yesterday, we were working with a little bit of past tense, as you may know. Yeah, and today we're going to have the context related to that, but we're going to use, use, this is Intermediate English Module number one, and this is class number two. And I'm happy to be here, as you may know, with uh, Mr. Palomo. Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful day, which is Tuesday. The vacation is there, right? I can almost spell it, vacation. What do you do on vacation? Or pretty much, what are you going to do? What are your plans for this uh, San Salvador's vacation that you're having? Mm -hmm. Roxana, Diaz, tell me, what are your plans for this San Salvador's vacation? What are you going to do? Uh, my plans my plans for vacation is to visit my, my sister in Morazan. Oh, that's 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 very good. Okay. What what are you going to do there? Good evening. Good evening. Sorry? What what do you usually do there when you get to uh to, to like on a sun, right? What do you usually do there when you get there? Like what are the activities that you are planning to do with your sister? Uh, your mic is off. Your mic is off. <laughs> um, I think that I, uh, with my sister, uh, make uh, pandulce. Oh, very pandulce. good. Very good. Okay, very good. A question for you, gentlemen. Who is this gentleman? Camilo Rivera, do you know how do we say pandulce? Or that thing that we have in El Salvador that we love a lot in English. How do we say pandulce in English? Good night. I think we can say sweet bread. Is that right? Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Somebody else has a different like vocabulary or a different phrase to say pandulce. Me teacher, uh, pastry. Oh, pastry. That's right. We have pastry. Yeah. In, in English, um, Camilo, we don't say uh, sweet bread. Sweet bread is like the literal translation, right? But we go, Camilo, with pastry. That's the way we call it, that. that. Also in El Salvador, I love El Salvador vocabulary because we have peperechas, we have novias, right? So that's that's specifically about the, the pastry that we have. Uh, how do you spell it? Oh, thank you. Anna, how do you spell that, please? Thank you. I think so. Is a uh, P A S T R G J? No. Oh no. Why? Why? Okay. Why? Why? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> okay. That is correct. That is correct. Anna. Pastry. Yes. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Pastry. The, the things that we usually have, right? Every day, with a little pan dulce, with a little bit of coffee. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, uh, let me tell you the attendants. When you hear your beautiful name, say, I'm here or present. And Alvaro Camilo Rivera. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Good evening. Ana Martinez Lopez. De Lopez, I'm sorry. I'm here. Wonderful. Thank you. Sara Paricio Mendoza. Present teacher here. Good evening. Nice to have you. Tadwin Blanco. <clears throat> Tadwin Blanco? No, he isn't, right? Delmi Amaya. Present. Yeah. Thank you, Delmi. Welcome. Efraín Emilio. No, he isn't. Um, Stephanie Martinez. Stephanie Martinez. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you one more time. Franklin Magaña. Um, Franklin Magaña. No, he isn't. 
and Geraldine, Lisette. Chacon. Good night. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to have you. Hevel, Virginia Tovar. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Ingrid Flores. Present, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Irma Segura. Present, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Jesus Escobar. Jesus Escobar. No, he isn't. Jose Vaquerano Sanchez. Good evening, teacher. Here I am. My pleasure. Nice to have you. Juan Madrid. Present, teacher. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Catherine Rivera. Catherine Rivera. No, she isn't. Kevin Flores. Kevin Flores. No, he isn't. Um, Lucia Cepeda. Present teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Melvin Diaz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Melvin. Nice to have you one more time. Merin Carranza. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Milagro Jimenez. Here I am, sir. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Mirna Landos. Present, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Nelson Ceron. Nelson Ceron. No, he isn't. Patricia Esmeralda Garcia. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to have you. Patricia Castellanos. Patricia Castellanos. No, he isn't. Um, Ronald Martinez. Your teacher. Good evening. Wonderful. Welcome. Roxana Diaz. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening. Sandra Asensio. Sandra Asensio. No, she is in and Sandra Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for being here on this beautiful day, which is Tuesday. Uh, Nelson Ceron, ahorita Nelson. Give me a minute. Um, Nelson Ceron, ahorita Nelson. So thank you so much for being here. Welcome to this uh, English class. You like sharing a bit of the content that we have available in the platform. The topic for today is used to, all right? And this is class number two. Let's begin. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get into the culture a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna have this short reading. Lucia Elena Cepeda, good evening, how are you? Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. That's pretty good. Thank you so much. Um, can you read this uh let's say information that we have here, please? This one. Yes, yes. Please. The United States is a country of immigrants. Until the 1960, most immigrants came from Europe. Today, most come from Latin America and Asia. But there are some immigrants for almost every country in the world. In Virginia, one high school has students from uh, 85 countries in Sacramento, California. At one elementary school over a uh, 50% of the students speak a language other than English at home. In Bad School, the school lunch program offers food for many countries, and most students have friends for different cultures. Still, students get homesick, unlike in there, but sometimes I miss that I left behind, says G.U. Park, a South Korean immigrant to New York. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Um. Let's begin with. Let me see. Um, okay. Give me a minute. Uh, if you want to participate, raise your hand. Uh, the question. Well, the 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 thing you 
I want you to do is like, give me your opinion about this information that we have here. What, what are your thoughts about it? Um, do you agree on like most of the information or do you disagree? Or tell me one comment about this information that we have in this um, let's say short paragraph. Anybody? If not, I will say names. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> if not, I will say names, okay? <laughs> sure. Oh, thank you, Milagro. Go ahead. Well, I think I, I want to answer the first question. Okay, please read the question and then answer, please. Thank you. Are there immigrants in your country? Yes, there are. Where okay. are they from? They are from Nicaragua. Oh, Most so of the immigrants here in our country are, are from Nicaragua. Okay, so like the majority of them are from Nicaragua. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you agree with her, Juan David? Do you agree with Milagro? Like most of the immigrants that we have here in El Salvador are from Nicaragua. Yes. Uh, the the Milagro Milagro uh, uh, war is is in Borner and in in El Amatillo, La Unión. So she knows. So, so she yes, knows, right? Yes. Uh, the the Milagro. She's not uh, late, right? So, uh, Milagro uh, uh, um, have team uh, have uh, idea uh, of uh, the migration in in the country. It's okay. real. It's real. <laughs> it's real. You sure. you post. Yeah, <laughs> they, they come to work, they come to do the things that Salvadorian don't want to do. What do you think about it, Milano? Is, is it good or like not good? Like, what, what's your opinion about it? We, we are not like, we won't like, like get into politics or things like that, but just give me your, your opinion about what do you think about like immigrants? Like, are, are they good people or uh, do they help? To the country. Uh, in my experience and in my point of view, immigrants, um, yes, they are. They are good people. They work here in. I don't know how do you say carpinteria. Yeah, like, like they work as as carpenters. Yeah, they work as carpenters, and in another type of job that Salvadorian men don't want to do. Perfect. Yeah, you mentioned something very important, like Salvadorians don't want to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a very good thing. Salvadorian people is used to get in, income from United States and don't, they don't want to work. Okay, that's, that's, a, good, that's a good point of view. Yeah. You, and a really good point. Ana Beatriz, what do you think about this opinion? Like, uh, do you think like we just want to get like some remessas from the US? Like, um, or like, what's your opinion about it? Okay, um, in my country, I uh, there there are uh, different immigrants. Um, uh, for my neighborhoods, I I I have uh, Germany. Uh, from the United States and, and Nicaragua. Nicaragua? And, yes. But uh, they they are like uh, more Salvadorian than, <laughs> than us. <laughs> yes. <That's true. laughs> because uh, they they are yeah, working in uh, uh, the, the one, uh, I don't know, uno, como puedo decir, uno, uh, the one uh, work in, in the barber shop and the others uh, sells the telas, fabric, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Fabric. Clothes. Yeah. Clothes. Yeah. Clothes. Uh, and and there are uh, to do 
่าอืม many war uh, many jobs that we the Salvadorian to do yeah I you understand <laughs> yes I got it very good yeah like we Salvadorians sometimes we don't we don't want to do like certain jobs let's say right because sometimes we don't have the skills probably right or or like I mean as Milagro was saying like sometimes we don't we don't want to do that job yes mm -hmm. um Patricia the next question is do you have friends in other countries Patricia Castellano? Me. Uh, yes, I have some friends in other countries. Okay, right. Which countries? In you know. Spain, uh, United States, can Canada, um, in all oh, uh, Netherlands, uh, Panama, Costa Rica, Guatemala, <laughs> Honduras. <laughs> and Honduras too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Yes. Geraldine, Geraldine Chacon, the last question. What do you think immigrants miss? Uh, I think because it's for the situation, because people look very opportune from other countries, and um, much better the life of your family. Okay, that is correct, right? Just to like to get, let's say, their opportunities. But Geraldine, the question, this question here, do you see this question here? Like, what do you think immigrants miss? What do you think they miss? Like, something like, like, because I'm seeing like videos on TikTok from people from the Salvador, like they miss a bunch of things, right? They live in the US and suddenly they are saying, <laughs> Oh, food, food right? <laughs> yes, food, like yeah. Chongenga, right? Yeah. The one that is <laughs> that we miss Maybe a lot, the right? Weather. Oh, the weather. Yes, yeah. that's another one. Sometimes, yeah. Something else? Something else? Friends, their friends. Their friends. Oh, their friends, their relatives. Maybe yeah. The food, I maybe the food. Yes, the food, right? I was watching some videos, some things of like people from from like immigrants, like like from El Salvador. They like they request or they buy um this pastry that is called hojitas from El Salvador, and they like get them uh, over there in the U.S. like a very high price. Uh, that's that's incredible. Here in El Salvador, we we don't what, we what like kind of leaves? What <laughs> kind of leaves? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, yes Patricia. Like, uh, that's right. That's right. Here in El Salvador, maybe I, I, I can eat one hojita, right? Maybe one because it's a lot of sugar in there. I guess it's like two, it's too many, right? But people in the U.S., they 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 buy this thing and they, I don't know. When I ask, teacher, when I ask yeah. them uh, how, uh, what is the, 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 the miss, uh, say, they told me uh, the breakfast. <laughs> the breakfast, yeah, yeah, exactly. Here in El Salvador, we have a full breakfast, like like we have beans. What else do we have with the breakfast? Mm -hmm. uh, plantain. Plantains, right? Plantains. Fried, fried plantains. What else? Cream, cream, cream. cream. Uh, cheese, cheese, right? Eggs, eggs, <laughs> bread. Bread, Maybe bread. Tamales. Tamales. Yeah. yeah, it's it's, it's a full thing. It's a full thing. And and people in the US they miss that because they only have a sandwich. And they tell me, Okay. Okay. Just, I just get a sandwich. They tell me. But I, sometimes I just get, no. they used to, to eat like pancakes and eggs and bacon and awesome. other things like that. But yeah. different than us. Exactly, exactly. But why, why, why do, why do you think? Or what is the reason that they don't have a full breakfast in the morning? There is one big reason in the U.S. That, that's oh, yes. why they don't have a big breakfast. Tell me why. What is I the reason? I guess. Why? I guess they don't like to cook. <laughs> they are a little bit lazy. I, I think maybe, oh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe they don't. They don't want to wake up soon. <laughs> oh. There is one yes. big reason, okay, which is which is the time. As you may yes. know, 
the time. They work a lot over there. Like here in El Salvador, lot, so yes, they, we work. Yes, we they work, work a lot. But they here, work a lot. They don't have time. Yes, they don't have time to 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 do to, to cook. But yes. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes and they, they do don't, a they fast don't like lunch to too. Exactly, and that's why they have a bunch of restaurants with fast food. That's incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for your opinion. Let's move on to the perspective when I was a kid. Okay, we have this expression when I was a kid. Tell me, please, Sarah e. Martinez. This expression when I was a kid. This expression is about the present, it's about the future, or this expression about the past. It's the past. It's about the past. Oh, how do you know past. the expression is about the past? Because the verb to be is in uh, in in past tense. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. This one is in past tense. So I'm going to play the audio. Let's listen the phrase, and then we will discuss the material. Okay. 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 Page five, exercise seven, perspectives. When I was a kid, part A. Listen to these statements about changes. Check those that are true about you. When I was a kid, I never used to play sports. But now I like to keep fit. I used to go out with friends a lot, but now I don't have any free time. When I was younger, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I do. I didn't used to be a good student, but now I love to study and learn new things. I never used to follow politics, but now I read the news online every morning. I used to be really neat and organized, but now I'm very messy. I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now I'm too busy to care about how I look. Here we have the statements, right, about changes. As you may know, everything changed, right? And as your age, you may know that you may got a bunch of experience, right, on that. And you may realize that things are not the way they used to be, right? <laughs> yes? So that is something normal, right, that happens in our life and in our society. So here we have this example. Let me guess Ingrid Flores. Thank you, Ingrid. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Fine. Okay. Tell me. Um. Can you tell me, like, what are these things that are true about your life? Let's say, like, what are these things that apply to you in this list? <clears throat> I listening. All are true. Oh, I mean, I mean, but I'm talking about your life, like something that is true about your life or everything is true ah, about my life and when i was a kid i never use um to take a shower <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> oh man okay so you were forced no the way she, the way she so, means like so she were forced now it's different teacher she was forced okay so, so she was forced okay to do it but now, uh, every day, right? So yeah, every day. <laughs> okay. Just, just because you get paid. Okay. Well, something else about you? Uh, yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Camilo Rivera, tell me, yes, like, teacher. the sentences that are related to your life, please. All of them. <laughs> I oh, think it's God. all of them. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic, yeah, right? I think it's all of them because we are young. We don't have we don't have responsibility. Absolutely. Absolutely, we are. We don't have responsibility. You know, we don't have nothing in charge. Not anymore, Our fathers right? give it all. We don't have sons. <laughs> we don't care about the life. You know. Yeah, yeah. But when we, you we... get married, when you get, when you get your sons, everything changes because you have to have responsibilities. Yeah, you have once, to work for family. And I think children, all these questions you see here, it's come to my life. I think it's all of them is with me. Okay, thank you so much. What about you, Patricia Esmeralda? Do we have something related to your life here? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, 
when I was a kid, uh, I did used to a uh, good children. And I I remember I took my two brothers because my parents and they worked. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's it, right? Just to remember like good days. We call this this good days, right? When we were like little, those were good days. Yeah. And now we just can remember and enjoy how was uh, this beautiful time in our life. Yeah. I wish we could get back, right? But that's that's not the case. Okay. Uh, Sandra Asensio, what about you? Do we have something related to your life here that you used to do when you were little? Sandra Asensio. I teach I um, I don't know the the the, the um, I coming in this time. Oh, I okay. don't know the 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 the, the que habla. Okay, estamos oh. hablando de when I was a kid. ¿Entiendes esta frase? When I was a kid. Do you understand yes. this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Entonces, el context is in the present or in the past, Sandra? Okay, when I was a kid, I like play with my my daughters. Oh, okay, okay. Remember that this is when you when you were a kid. You know what I mean? When you were a kid, when you were like ten or seven years old. Yes, this is about about us, right? About you when you were okay. a, a kid, when you were little. Okay, so we are just remembering. We're talking about the things that, like, um, we used to do when we were little. We were uh, like kids, right? Not anymore, okay? Because we we are like now, John and and and, and healthy, right? <laughs> and happy as well. But we just uh just like talking about the things that uh, we used to do. Okay. Uh, let me show you the little bit of the context that we have, the grammar part, so you can have a better idea. Uh, I want you to listen and watch, and then we will continue. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used and after that I'm gonna start explaining how to structure these sentences together so let's do that right now let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about thanks for taking the time to speak with me Jerry oh it's my pleasure you have a beautiful accent where did you grow up I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. 
I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. You still refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally we're, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense. And then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past. And now it's going to be in the present, and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't, and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present, and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna I'm going to go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say, I didn't use to collect anything, but I do now. There we go. And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports, okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to. And that's going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports. But now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what 
did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet? Did you? Okay. So the question is, what did you used to do when you were a child or when you were little? Just give me one example, please. Like I basically... used to play soccer with my friends when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, that's very good. However, yes, I, I recommend to give me like a second option, right? You know, like, like for example, just to complete the context, right? Um, something that you used to do in the past, but now you don't do it, you do something different or you don't do it anymore. You know what I mean? Right? Like, okay. something, like something that you used to do in the past, but now it's different because you changed or because of the Asian area where you live or the environment where you are right now is different. Uh, trying to do it like that. Okay. Um, check. Mirna, entendí un poquito cómo es este used to, Mirna? Yes. Mirna Landos, do you do you understand how do we how do we work with used to? Um, el de la oración de de vivir. No, I mean, I'm in general, I'm asking you in general, do you understand how do we work or how do we use this expression we used to, to talk about things in the past? That we used to? Ah, okay. Um, me cuesta entender un poquito uh, in general. Okay. Yes, I, I understand. I understand. Right now, we are talking with the context that is the past. You know what I mean? So pretty much... We are like just talking about something that we, we, we used to do in the past, but now we don't do it anymore. Okay, so it's like we get into the past, we used to, and then we we get into the present just to communicate what, what do we do now. Yes, right? So it's like a combination of, of, of the two things. We get, we get into the past, we used to, okay? And then... Okay. Communicate like, but now I play every day, you know, something, something like, like that. Okay. For um, example, give me, a, give, me a, give me a minute. Okay. Um, okay. So voy a ocupar el verbo, el más easy, right? El que siempre ocupamos every single day. So tengo el verbo play. Pongo mi lista de verbos play. I don't know, dance. I don't know, uh, drink. Okay. Right, Mirna? So these verbs are in present. Yes? Okay. Patricia, do you have a question? No, 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 no. Oh. I, I can I cannot see what do you write in the, oh, you're not in the seeing. screen. In the screen, yes. It's... Okay, what about the rest? What about the rest? Are, are you seeing what I'm sharing? Yes or no? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Juan David, do you see the verse that, that, that we have on the screen? Um, let me see. Yes. Okay, um, can you say the verse, please? Thank you. I don't know why. Uh, I, uh, uh, this in verse. Case, in, this verse. In my yes. case, I, I, I have uh, other idea. Uh, example, example. Okay, when thank I, you. When when I was a kid, I I always thought um, my name was uh, Stante Quieto because I was uh, rest, restless. Always. I used to be I used to be called yeah. by the name. I used to be called by the name Stante uh -huh. Quieto, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what a nonsense. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Yeah. Now, yeah. Just now, 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 uh, 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 insane. I, I eat one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. That's very good. Okay. Okay. 
So I, I just a very good one. I'm just wondering, like, do you see the verse on the screen? Sarai no. Martinez? They're yeah. like hidden. Okay. It's it's like I'm it's, I'm sharing I'm sharing like yeah. a like a whiteboard. So I'm I'm just asking you, do you see these verbs here? This one? Mm, no, there are... no verbs. Play, dance, drink. Uh, yes, yes. Play, Those dance, are the verbs. Yeah. Play, right. dance, drink. I okay. can read. I can see it. I don't oh, know yeah. why. I'm sorry. I do. Yeah, it's because maybe it's just your internet connection. Probably. I'm sorry. Yes. I don't know. Yes. So um. But... <laughs> Give me a minute. Let me see I can I see you now, but oh Jesus, what's going on? I that... don't know. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Okay, we're gonna get into something else because I don't know what's happening, but um, she wasn't uh, able to see the screen. Let's see this one. Yes. Oh, now yes. I can see it right now. Yes. Okay, perfect. We have choose the correct words or phrase. Okay. We're going to complete this short exercise about vocabulary. Ingrid, Maricela, let's begin with number one and number two, please. Thank you. Okay. I used to call it coming book. Um, oh, carry on, please. Carry on. I used to call it. When I was a kid. Yes, carry on, please. Number two. Ah, my favorite pet was a cat Holy Felix. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. That was very good. Um, Patricia, carry on with number three, please. Okay. What, Patricia? Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I <laughs> yeah, that, Patricia Garcia. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and we used to go to uh, the playground so many times two for two weeks. And for two weeks during our summer vacation, it was really fun. <clears throat> what was the correct option? The playground, school, summer camp. I'm sorry? Yes, yeah. what's the correct option in number three? Ah, um, summer camp. Thank you so much. Okay, the last one is for you, um, Ronald Alexis Martinez, number four, please carry on. I think it's the playground. Can you please read the full sentence? Thank you. Okay. There was a great uh, playground on my street. We used to go there every afternoon to play. Thank you so much. Okay. I I I, I have a question, teacher. Uh, play one, uh, playground is the same as court. Excuse me? Playground is the same uh, as a court. A cancha? Oh, mm, no. Like a field. No, it's, it's like a field or like a, like a, I think it's different. A playground, we have a different, a little things like a slide, like a swim, you know. So they're like children, they go there and they like use those little uh, extra, let's say, objects available for them to play, like a slide, like a, because we things like that that we have there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. got it. Thank you. My pleasure. Yes. So, if you see, this is like like the way we use uh, the combination. I love this used to because it make us speed and also help us to remember the way that uh, we used to be right. Yeah. So that that's a a childhood memory. Okay. Now we have this one. Uh, look at these picture pictures, Ellie and her brother Robert. Complete the sentence. So we have a picture, right? And we have a little bit of hint, let's say, some like previous information. In the summer, Ellie and Robert sometimes used to go to summer camp. 
discussed it in the picture. Mm -hmm. What about the number two? What is the sentence in number two? Anybody, please? I hope so. Mm -hmm. What is the sentence? Excuse me, Patricia Castellano? Yeah, maybe they also had a pet. Oh, oh, remember, what is the grammar point that we are using here? Um, I don't, uh -huh. they, they used to have a, a pet. Oh. Mm. They used to yeah. have, they oh, are, are, are you oh, using the sentences related, related with, the, with the other sentences? No, okay. related to the picture. Okay, related to the oh, picture. I'm sorry. To the, uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I was in another place. Oh, okay, no, no. Here, here, here. Related to the picture. Ah, uh, okay. They also used to go to the park uh, to go in bike. <laughs> and mm -hmm. their dog Bruno always used to follow them. That's quite good. That's quite good. But <laughs> it's, it's, it's not full, like, correct. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Because I'm looking for a specific verb that we use here. Context. They all yeah. play, used to play with their bicycles. Oh, that's very close, Camilo. That's very close. Okay. They also used to play with their bicycles. Okay. They also used to go to the park. Right. Right. Excuse me? Used to ride, ride, to ride, to ride, very good. Ah, used they to also ride used bike. to ride exactly. by their bicycles. Bikes, I'm sorry. With the bikes. with their dog. Exactly, exactly. I used to ride bikes. Can you use used to go to the park? No. What happened in the context of the picture? I mean, oh. the, the answer was. This is like... short, short, uh, answer, huh? I mean, it's based on the context of the picture, just to be specific about it. You oh, know what oh, I mean? Because oh, oh. okay, the okay. scenario that is telling me, yes, they are in the park. Yes, they go to the park. But the basic scenario that the picture is showing me is like they're riding a bike. Yeah. So they used to ride bikes. Bikes. Exactly. Their dog, Bruno, always used to follow them. Oh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Look at, look at the dog right here. Yes. That's yes. Canelo, right? Okay. I can tell. see the dog. Oh, yes. it's behind yes. them, huh? Yeah. My exactly. Soto. Exactly. Yes. exactly. So, okay. oh, in the picture. now, so. what about these questions? Have you changed? How have you changed in the first five years? Right answers, okay, to these questions. Right. Milagro de la Paz, are you the make on question number one, please? Questions number one. Like what hobbies did you used to have a years ago? I used to um, carry on with this one. I'll read this hobbies, one. What hobbies do you have now? Okay, beautiful. Okay, so what are you going to do? Is is this is about you? You know what I mean? This is about your information, yes, your life. What hobbies did you used to have five years ago? And what are the hobbies that you have now? You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So this is the way you will answer. And as you may know, the content that we are studying right now is I used to, and then you talk. Now, you give me the sentence, right? You need to do it with number one, with number two. One, can you read please questions number two, one, Madrid? Yeah. Okay, what kind of music did you use, use well, to I like then? What like kind of music do you like now? I'm mute. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Yes. Okay. So now the second one is about music, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. The second one is about music. So this one yes. is quite is quite different than the other one. Again, every context is about five years ago. Yes. Ronald yes. Alexis, read number questions uh, three, please. Thank you. Ronald Alexis Martinez. Okay, teacher, just read. Yes. Okay. 
what kinds of clothes did you use to like to wear? What kinds of clothes do you like to wear now? Exactly. Very good. So I need you to answer these questions, please. Um, and I will hear like some answers from you. Okay, so I will give you some time so you can think about it. So you can give me some answers. Um, les quería también compartir um, eh, así rapidito en español. Hay un, hay un sitio en YouTube que se llama English with Alema. Ok, para los que tienen, uh, pues, um, es inconveniente, ¿verdad? Pues, que a veces tenemos y que es normal, así que no se, no se preocupe ni, ni, ni se achique, right Pues que a veces pues, nos cuesta un poquito entender los temas. No se preocupe, right? eso es normal. Se llama English with Alema, así como lo escuchan. English with Alema. Exacto. No, inglés How, fácil how do you Alema. spell in Alema? Ahorita se lo escribo aquí on, 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 on Zoom, ¿ok? Ok. Uh, so Alema. Alema. Ahí se los envié para eh, oh, en caso okay. pues, quieran repasar Alema. este Alema. website. Thank you. Sí, yes. uh, tiene varios videos que están en Spanglish, right? So you can, so you can recheck oh. the content, yes? Oh, so you okay. can recheck the content y lo tiene en Spanglish, so you can uh, check that, okay? Okay, thank right. you. So, um, porque a veces no, pues, no nos alcanza, okay. right? To, to uh, time, so we yes, can do it. thank you. Mm -hmm. My pleasure, my pleasure. So, okay. somebody write in the chat, let me check. Oh, very good, uh, Melvin, that's wonderful. That's very nice of you. Patricia welcome, Castellanos, Charlie. very good. Also, Catherine Rivera, very good. Thank you. And Melvin, that was very nice of you. Mm -hmm. Camilo, do you have the number one ready? Oh, I did. I didn't write because I'm doing it in my cell phone. I know how to. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you want me to? Do you want me to to tell you right now? Oh, can you try? I can answer. Oh, I. I will try. Oh, sure, do it, please. Okay, number one. What hobby do you used to have five years ago? And what hobbies do you have now? Um, oh. I used to practice. I used to practice football, soccer. Now, I practice bodybuilding. Is that right? You change it, right? Yeah. So you change huh? it. Right? So you yes. change it, right? <laughs> Is that right? I do it wrong. <laughs> no, that's, that's correct. I'm talking about the activity. You you switch the activity, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I change it, yeah. Oh, I, 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 I don't practice. Uh, oh. Contact sport. So now, so you, now you're you somehow careful about your appearance. Yes or no? No. I... Sorry. Are you are you more careful about your appearance? Your yeah. No, appearance? because I'm getting fat. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm overweight. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm overweight. Yeah. <laughs> I eat too much. Oh, well, that's a, thank you. That's I like good. That's, good. that's my problem. Oh, just, just, just because of that. Just because of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Somebody else with, with number two? Mm -hmm. Do you want to try? Uh, no. Number two. Uh, Rona, Alexis Martinez, do you want to try number two? Okay, let me try. What kind of music did you use to like them? Oh, I don't know because um, no. actually I don't uh, remember. <laughs> I used to listen um some rock bands when I was young, but nowadays, what kind of music do you like now? Is um, I like to listen extreme music metal. Um, Just that. So you're like improving the challenge, right? It's like it's getting better. Yeah. 
It's like it's he better, heavy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> heavy is <It's> getting hot. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. Yeah. Okay, Milagro. Yes, sir. Oh, you want to try number two or number three or number one? Which one? Number three. Okay. That's what it. kind? What kinds of clothes did you use to like to wear? And what kind of clothes do you like to wear now? I used to like to to wear shorts because my my legs used to be beautiful, but now no, <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> now I I like to wear <laughs> I like to wear jeans. <laughs> so only jeans. <laughs> I love I love your confidence. I love your confidence. Okay. That was fantastic. Okay. <laughs> she's, like, she's so real. <laughs> yeah, she's so real. She's so real about her life. <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> so thank you so much, Minara. That was that was very nice. And, and I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. You are welcome, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Okay. What about you, Ana Beatriz Martinez? Tell me. One, two, or three. The uh, one that you prefer. Two. Okay. Thank you. Tell me. What What kind of music do you used to like then? And what kind of music do you like now? Uh, I used to to listen music. Uh, eighty. And seventy eight, um, huh? but now I used to listen to music. Um, bossa nova, and sometimes I used to listen, um, uh, rap. Okay, rock music. That's a good one. Yes, seventies, eighties, and nineties music. Right, that those are good ones. Yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. So now you go like it. Look, it looks like you're improving. In your like preferences, right? Because rock music is is very good. Yeah, the way they play the instruments is very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what about you? Uh, somebody else with the the number the number one. I love the number one. Yeah, yeah. The number one is good. Somebody yes. else. I could try. Oh, please do it. I used to go to the gym uh, every day. In order to exercise, but now, no, 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 it's not this, that you are thinking about. <laughs> I, 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 you, I like to exercise by myself now in my in my at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I okay. exercise every day. So, so you, you got the routines right from the gym. Yeah, now yeah. I have you, routines you don't pay in different the gym? way. Oh. Yes, but but. Uh, Five years ago, I used to go to the gym, but uh, you know, uh, after that came the pandemic, pandemia? I don't know how to say pandemia in English. Pandemic. Pandemic. Pandemia, COVID-19. And so because of that, I didn't uh, go to the gym. I, 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 yeah. That's a very good idea, Patricia. So, so you used to, you still go to the gym, so you memorize the routines, right? So you got the routines yeah. in your mind, and now yes. because of this COVID nineteen like pandemic, like got us the house for like two yes. years. Right? Now you do the routines at home by yourself. Oh, that's fantastic! Yes, another kinds of routines because uh, I I I that. I do aerobics in this morning. Oh, aerobics! How, how is that? Yeah. Uh, I, I like them. I like them. Is it difficult to do it, or is like? And I think no. I I think they're funny. It's too difficult. <laughs> so so Camila, no. you, got, you got those right? You got oh those? man, that's too that's too difficult. Yeah. Uh, do you think <laughs> yeah. that you get tired? <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. In the so second, you can, in the future, you, you have can to say, move all your body. Camilo, so you in the future you can say in two thousand twenty three I used to do aerobics. Now, no, yeah, I don't think it. so. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you have to move. You have to move. You have to move all your your body. You get tired yeah. so fast. Yeah, yeah. 
but 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 they can it can improve a lot of your breath. Sounds amazing. Oh, look at that yeah. beautiful baby, Maricela. This is a very cute baby. Oh, is that a boy or a girl? I don't see it very well. Maricela Flores. It's a boy. Oh, that's very cute. What's his name? <laughs> What's his name? Um, Alessandro. Oh, nice to meet you, Alessandro. Nice Can to you meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Okay, so this is the way we use used to, right? To talk about things that we used to do when we were little. But now, because everything has changed, we we, we are like in a different scenario, a different environment, right? So uh, we can use used to, to do that. If you see here, we have the question. Se fijaron en el video, no teníamos las questions, pero aquí las tenemos, mire. What kind of music did you used to like, okay? Did you used to like? Okay. Did you used to play um, soccer when you were little? Did you used to dance at the disco when you were young? Did you used to eat a bunch of, I don't know, hot dogs when you were little? Yes. Not anymore, right? Not anymore. We want to be healthy and we want to be alive. <laughs> But I, but I like hot dogs. <laughs> That's impossible. Delicious, but not nutritious. Delicious, but not nutritious. Thank you so much, people. Good night, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Nice to see you, everybody. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Nice to see you. Thanks for you. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.